What's up, you guys? If you watch the Who Knows Me Better video with my mom in Israel, if you haven't seen it, go see it first before you watch this one. There was a question about what is the craziest thing that's ever happened with me and a fan? And I was like, hmm, oh my gosh, duh. She's now my executive assistant. So guess what? Today is the day. It is the story of my incredible executive assistant, the one and only Lana the Great. Lana is so nervous right now to be on I camera. Hear you. I hear you. The point is, she's really nervous to be on camera right now and I think it's so funny because constantly she's forcing me to do things that I really don't want to do, i.e. work in general. And, <laughs> and now it's my turn to force her to do stuff like, hi, get on camera. This is, by the way, this is what you make me do every day. Get on, do your job? Yeah, exactly. This is not my, I'm not, it's not all things Lana, it's all things Adrian. No, but the point is, like, I'm this nervous. is, why are you nervous? I don't know, I don't like this camera stuff. She's dying. I was She's... doing warm ups out there. What, what kind of warm ups? I don't know. Guys, this is Lana. This is What's Lana. up, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Israel right now, now I know why he's. <laughs> this is not made for us. <laughs> okay. It's not going fast. <laughs> Where is your heart? So, it all started at The Real. I was a huge fan of Adrian's for a very long time. We Since, still don't know why. Yeah, I don't. Now I don't know why. Before I knew That's why. not true. No, I really am still a fan of yours. Oh, Bye -bye. she loves me. Um, okay. So, I met her at The Real for the first time ever. You ended up inviting me to your photo shoot mm -hmm. where we exchanged numbers. Guys, what she's leaving out is that she actually started or oh, became yeah. like the leader of what was known as hashtag Team AB. If you were a member of Team AB, comment below. I would ask her, what are the things that I can do to be more interactive with my fans? You're one of them, like, help me be sure. more connected. And you were like, I think it'd be dope if you got like a group of us to see like what is like a behind the scenes day for you. And you know, we can go to like one of your photo shoots. And then I was like, oh, I have one coming up. Come to my photo shoot, that'll be awesome. And get this, guys. This was not intentional on her part at all. But why, why did you show up at the photo shoot with like not just my order from Starbucks, but Ray's as well, Ray who does my hair. I just texted him like, hey, I'm at Starbucks, would you guys like anything? And Ray, obviously his strawberry drink. So I got that, I got He would post it on Instagram on his IG stories like yeah. what his order was. So she paid attention and got the order. Yeah, and I just showed up and I'm like, hey, I brought Starbucks, whatever. And then from there, I don't even know what happened. Then I then reached out to you and I was like, I texted you happy new year and on new year's eve you ended up calling me. And saying, would you ever consider like coming to like work with us? <laughs> Number one, her just showing up and paying attention to detail. Like she did the research, she knew what we wanted. She didn't have to do that at all. She put a good foot forward, but at the same time she wasn't eager. You weren't like thirsty, like, I really, like you weren't harassing me. You actually never asked me to be my assistant. She never did, never. she never put that out there. I don't even think that was your intention. Never. She just showed up and was genuinely being who Lana genuinely is. And I saw that that day for the first time. I was like, oh my God, she's really thoughtful. She pays attention to detail. There is something really dope that I look for in someone that's gonna work with you or for you, which is that they have natural instincts to do things before you ask for them. And I saw that in her and I left there that day telling Israel, oh my God, you can't pay people to care. Like you could offer someone all the money in the world and they will show up to work every day treating it like work. Lana is not that person. Like Lana genuinely cares about me and that's why she not only kills her job but she makes it enjoyable and we have fun. Never. I actually worked in the mortgage industry in a little cubicle in Pasadena. Super smart too. She's not just beauty, brains. And when she called me, I'm like, well, I don't know what to do as an assistant. And then I guess everything just comes naturally at that point. You didn't leave your job. And I did not leave my job. I interned. Key. I interned with her like offsite, worked in the mortgage company, and then um, went to school. And then now we're full -time. So she was doing three, time, three things at once. So that also shows what a hard worker she is. 
I think those are the things that really bonded us the most was this girl was the one that we planned the wedding together. If somebody can get through planning your wedding, you can get through anything. anything in life. But not just planning a wedding, planning a wedding on the other side of the world. In two months. In two months and planning it with a bunch of people that don't speak English. How's your French? Bien. <laughs> Bien. <laughs> so, Lana, the people would like to know, what was it like, and be honest, okay. planning my wedding? Like, what was I like? Honestly, honestly, you were very chill. Yeah. So, like, two days before, when deliveries weren't coming in when they were supposed to. What were we waiting on? Like, the Etsy stuff that we ordered. So, I've been a bridesmaid in numerous weddings. This that was easiest for me. Really? Yeah, for sure. My cousins are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was hardcore the day of. The day, oh my god. What was, was I doing? Crazy. You're like, come on, and I'm like, I'm on a different time, like time zone. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm like, you tired? You tired? How do you think I feel? In should Yes, you should. See, that's how Lana. This is how Lana looks out for me. She looks out for a bra strap. Seven a.m. Start there. 7 a.m. I walk in. Yep. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Um, so she's doing her makeup and I'm handing her the items that she needs. Yeah. Then we have to get her dressed. I'm a professional Spanx puller upper now. I just want everyone to know. Let's show them how we do it. So I Red. stand like this. I put my Spanx here. And One, I go two, two three. three. And oh. I jump. And she pulls them up. So she went from like being my fan to now seeing me pretty much naked on a daily basis. Yeah. That gets weird. Sure. I always ask her, clothes. like sometimes I'm just standing there and like we're putting body makeup on or like we're spray tanning and I'm like, is this so weird for you? Like at one point, like you really had respect for me and now I just stand Gone, here. Gone, out the window, <laughs> for sure. And now I have her like help me tape my boobs up when we're putting dresses on. I have to give it to her. Everyone naps during lunch and I'm there making Adrian work on the next big thing that we have coming on. Yeah. So this girl does not rest when I'm around, for sure. So the lunch hour, meetings, calls, She handles creative. all my scheduling, my calendar. If we've got posts that we have to do for Instagram, she makes sure that I'm on schedule. Like a lot of it is big business stuff. She is not my personal assistant and there is a huge difference. I wanna make that clear. She started out as my personal assistant. She is now my executive assistant which means she is allowed to make executive decisions. Yeah. So she is more in a managerial role where uh, when there's contracts, Lana overlooks contracts. Lana negotiates deals for me. She's also the person that stays on top of me and says, Adrian, you have to get this done this week. When we have projects coming up, Lana is the head of every single project. So when I launched my jewelry, the first thing we did was cry together and say, Oh my God, we, we did, did it. it. I really cried for real. Yeah. Real tears came out. That's what we do. That's what Lana and I do. We have creative meetings. Then we say, okay, how do we make it happen? This is what she does and she keeps me on path to make sure we accomplish everything. I don't like fittings at all. I ask Grace every single day if she really likes her job because I think, <laughs> honestly, God bless people that work in fashion. That's just not my field and I don't like it. So every time they do a fitting, I'm in the corner miserable. Like, when is this thing gonna be over? This is a hard one. No, I'm just kidding. She's really easy going. Honestly, like, you have like a three strike rule with Adrian. The first time she's like, girl, come on. The second time she's like, Lana. The third time she's like, all right, we need to have a conversation. Honestly, it's like having an older sister. I literally go to you for everything more than she comes to me for everything. Like, if I'm having no, personal. I, I literally can't do anything on my own. Okay, but personally. You have enabled me to be like hopeless. Like I'm like, my panties, <laughs> my socks, I'm thirsty. If people ask me like, do I have kids? I have a 35 year old child right here. <laughs> Our banter back and forth all day long, people are like, you, this can't be real. Like, We're gonna do a hidden camera somewhere at some point, <laughs> just so people can the see footage. the footage. And a dash cam, because the car rides are the most interesting. <laughs> Currently, Lana is enrolled in online school because that is one of her goals. She really does want to get her degree, which I completely support. This is terrible. But at the same time, don't front. You learn this more. This is hands-on experience. Yeah, but just my vocabulary alone. Lana was on a call the other day with my manager and proceeded to tell the manager, you guys are not ready for this. He was saying something and she couldn't hear because we were laughing really hard in the background. And Lana goes, hold up. Hold up, what'd you say? Hold up, what'd you say? 
What? Is this how we speak on, on professional phone calls now? He's my friend. I'm working on my speech, you guys. I'm gonna, my next class is like speech therapy because I've been clowned. <laughs> she so mumbles. Much. She mumbles. I speak three languages. They need to cut me some slack, okay? <laughs> and how do we answer the phone now? If you can't hear what someone said, what do you say instead of, hold up, what'd you say? Um, I will say, excuse me, can you please repeat that? <laughs> instead of, hold up, Steven. <laughs> And if, and if you don't have the answer, you need to get back to me and Israel to find out, what do you say? Now I'm gonna talk to them and let you know. <laughs> what do you I'll think? say, um, if you can give me a moment, I will follow up with, <laughs> with Adrian and Israel and I will get back to you shortly. Look, I'm working on it. I'm better in email, honestly. <laughs> Everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses. I can sit here and have a conversation and literally, like, oh, don't from my customer service voice. Yeah. Hi, great speaking with you. It's uh, fake, but yeah, good. It's super fake and phony. It's terrible on that level. But in all honesty, I'm not nearly as organized and I can't write emails the way Lana does. Like, Lana's emails are perfectly put together, detailed. The way she puts an itinerary, ooh, nobody puts an itinerary together like this I, one right I here. I got it. You got this. I hear that like maybe 50 times a day, uh -huh. probably more. And then what happens after that? Lana. Lana! Like I'm just like, but now like, I want oh, to know, I wanna know where me. you are and what you're doing. I just yeah, want to know I'm why not you're not like next this, to me. We have like, a I'm like, where's Lana? L Lana! Lana! If we're not glued to the hip, it doesn't work out Lana, for her. where's Lana? She's, you know where Lana is? Grace, can you go grab Lana? I just feel better if I know where she is, if I can see her, if she's in my vicinity. Oh! Big words! On Lana's cloud. families, I literally, they are now my family. Like, when we have events here, Lana's cousins are here. They're running, granted, Lana puts them to work. She makes them like run the entrance of the yeah. house. Uh, Laith, shout out to Laith, that's my boy, number one security, ew. Laith is amazing, he's freaking bomb and I love him. And, and they love her. That's, that's her brother, and then her mom actually was the one that created the dress that I wore for the Selena party. So the gown that I wore was made by Lana's mom. She's an incredible We just seamstress. keep it in the family now, honestly. Now I'm becoming a little more like thoughtful and creative because of you. What do you mean? Like, I don't want like a basic Thanksgiving setting anymore. I'm like, you guys better put some floral arrangements on this table. The influence you of just all things pick up Adrian. When you spend so much time with someone. Yeah, you don't pretty, want it yeah. to look ugly. Like, that helps the memory. Yeah, and you just pick up everything that you, like, I don't know. I think like I'm what? growing. This was my growing year. Oh. oh. That's a compliment. Oh. I just got a compliment, I don't know. Lana literally will tell me you look nice and I'll be like, thank you so much. She's like, that's all I'm just saying at that one time today. That's all you're getting. Like, she's like, that's it. Just be happy I told you one time. I honestly don't know what I would do without this one in my life. She keeps me on course. We have a good time while we're doing it. And I think, um, I just think she's amazing. Like, she literally is our Lana the Great. And we always talk about the fact that I can't wait to have babies because they will have the best auntie in this one right here. You can't wait? For the kids? Yeah. I cannot wait. I will go from executive assistant to nanny tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, not tomorrow. That's gonna start rumors. Yeah, no, not tomorrow. In the future. In the future. I just wanna say this, even if you watch this, you will never fully get how freaking funny Lana is. Like, That's the best compliment. It's in the moments that we don't expect it that Lana has us like crying, laughing in our dressing room. Her Drive. sarcasm and her dry personality, like dry sense of humor is hysterical. So I just wanna put that out there. Yes, however long this video is, you think you know Lana, but you still have no idea. She's the bomb. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Tell us what you wanna see next time on All Things Adrian. Thank you. Besos. <laughs>